these mosquitoes are ruthless, mate. At the moment, so... <laughs> uh, let's get done what I need to do, because it's getting late in the day when they start getting a bit peckish. Peckish for Roberto Hazeldinio. I'm not having it, so I've soaked myself in midge, smidge. It's not just because it's not it's not just because I'm greasy. Right, let's get this done. As the title may suggest, I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing ah oh, smidge, mate. There's a lot to be said for winter. Chicken of the woods. When I brought you me uh, fish, Mister, I'd spearfish. That was hard graft, mate. But I'll tell you something. I've put just as much hard graft into getting this mushroom than I did for that fish, I think. I spent a good few days, many hours, just in different woodlands, in different areas, just trawling me, looking at different trees just to find, to find it. So I've been coming out the last few days frantically searching for a certain type of fungus. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed we see something. I'm willing to climb trees. I'm willing to climb trees. I've been searching this woodland all day long to no avail. It's not always easy. It's not always easy, mate. Move on to another day and another woodland. And then me and my daughter went out into the woods for a little bit of an explore and uh, she got eyes on. We're out. <laughs> out with little in. I'm out with little in. And we're searching for chicken of the woods, which looks a little bit like this hair bubble. <laughs> is what we're looking for, but we're not finding it. We're not finding it. It might be another day, another day added to the list of days trying to find this elusive chicken of the woods. Here we go, just walking along here, <laughs> and little unit found what we've been looking for, what I've been looking for for the last few days, and what we've been looking for all day. So you make sure what tree it's on, because if, if it's on a yew tree and there's any of the detritus growing in and around the mushroom, then it can be poisonous, but this is, this is all fair game. There's a lovely bit. Stunning colours on it. Excellent, um, excellent filming work there, Teeny. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful, well done. Can we give a thumbs up? Can we get a thumbs up for Kaya, please? Like, like below, the camera girl. Right, I'm going to get a few bits. I'm not going to take it all, but I'm going to take a, a few. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Must have left you. Oh. This is the same as I felt when I got that fish because I've been looking for this for whoa, for days, mate. So I don't want to take all of it. I think will that do? We'll get one more bit of this back bit. See what that's all about. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> Excellent work. Are you pleased with it? <laughs> oh, the eagle eye. Eagle eye cherry spotted it, didn't you? Yeah. Well done, darling. And there we go. We don't want to take more than we need, but that is ample to do what we need to do with it. She found it, so well done. <laughs> well done, young'un. Well done, keen eye. Keen eye like a hard man. And I'm gonna try and recreate um, like a KFC style thing, but it's gonna be KFM, Kentucky Fried Mushroom. Kentucky Fried Chicken of the Woods. <laughs> Let's get it on. Little bit of fat wood. Simple. Right, let's get this on, mate. Let's just do it. Got loads, mate. I managed to. I even took some round to me. Uh, for me mates. So that they can have some. Right, so what you want to do is cover it, douse it in smidge, if you can.
can. Hmm. You don't. You don't want to do that. Get an old toothbrush and just get to work on the gaps. Get not dust off on that. It's quite. A, it's quite a clean one. This. Uh, just as a small caveat. Um, some people will have an allergic reaction to this mushroom. Not a lot, but some will. Your lips will swell up and whatever. So, if you've not had it before, I've had it before. So, if you've not had it before, just fry off a little bit, eat it, see how you get on. If you start having a few weird symptoms, mate, if you start tingling and stuff, <laughs> uh, it's not for you. But otherwise, it's... Uh, a wonderful look at that as well as a specimen. That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Here's my kniff. <coughs> Shall I use that white? How big's my bread bun? Let's work, work to the bread bun, is what I've always said in life. Um, that's what my commander always told me. So that's the size of my, uh, my rustic roll. So what am I looking at here? There, look at that, that's a decent... Let's get half of it in, shall we? We're not here for a... We're here for a good time, not a long time. Let's have all that as a wanna, shall we? Like a big chicken bit. And look at all that I've got left. <laughs> if you were here, mate, I'd give you it. Frying pan, spatula. <laughs> got me spatula that I've... Uh, I knocked this up out of a bit of... Uh, it's a nice bit of spalted... Spalted birch, actually. Look at the, look at that. Crafted. Right. Let's bumble our way through this, shall we? Shall I? Flour it up first. Bit of flour, and then we're going to put it in an egg wash, then in the breadcrumbs, then into some uh, into some oil. I'm happy, I am happy, I am happy as you like. Pip, there you go, brother. Sent me this from his mate. Can you see that? Get a load of that, mate. Get a load of that. Tubby Tom's Death Dust. World famous super hot seasoning. And he sent me that and one of his hot sauces and it was delicious, mate. It had lime and chilli and all sorts in it, so... Go check out my yeah there on Instagram and gets the send some tubby toms. We're gonna have a give it a go because what look, I've got my breadcrumbs and I'm gonna season it with some of uh, tubby toms. <laughs> there, we go. there you go. Look at that. Oh my god, it smells divine. Get a bit in because it's quite spicy. It is quite spicy. What's it got in it? Ingredients. Cornmeal, salt, cayenne pepper, Carolina Reaper, garlic powder, smoked paprika, black pepper and dried marjoram. So that's going to blow me nut off, isn't it? That's going to blow me nut off. I've put a bit too much in, I think, maybe, but I like it spicy anyway, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> I just want to shallow fry it really, I don't want to be messing about with too much, too much oil. Come on, this is not the time for focusing issues. There you go, boys and girls, there you are, look, there you are. Lovely. Into the egg wash we go. The, get it all into all the contours, or contours. Right, there you go. I've got to get a bit messy, that part of it. Again, a good one to do with kids. So it's into egg wash. Let's go, let's double up at the same time, mate. Why not? You only live once, don't you? So if you can't double up on egg wash, what sort of life are you living? Not a very fulfilled one, I'll tell you that. Oh my, oi. You stay there. Hey up, mate. Hey up, mate. 
Got rid of Mozzie's done it. Get rid of me in a minute. Look at the size of the flame. <laughs> right, and then we're going to go into our customised breadcrumb spice mix. That's all you can do, mate. That's all you can do, innit? That's that. Oh, ow. There you go, customization. Oh, it's, you can smell that Carolina Reaper. Is, it's strong. It's strong, Tubbs. I would like more. Let's go. Right, we're going to double dip. We're double dipping, guys. I'm double dipping. That's just how it is. We're going in again. Spice World, the movie. Right, here we go. Get eight on. Top tip, don't touch your eyes or, or your genitals after you've been handling <coughs> after you've been handling uh, Tubby Tom's death dust because Tubby Tom's death dust doesn't agree with peepers does not agree with noggin bollocks at all and I found out the hard way I'm excited after all just a quick pointer, mate, is um, I've, I've been out, I've, I've been looking for this mushroom for the last few days. I've done a lot of walking through a lot of bracken and um, I've had quite a lot of ticks on me. I had one on my tit and then one right up in my thigh. Um, I've seen loads of them, mate. They're all over the place, so I don't know if that's, if that's, it seems like they're getting more and more each year, so just keep your eye out for them, people. Careful, careful. Steady away, look at that. <laughs> Steady away, lad. Can you hear how crispy it is? That's because that's it double dip. No other reason. I might just be pulling this off. Right, we've got some smoked cheese, some uh, garlic and herb sauce, some uh, pea sprouts, pea sprouts with purple radish and garlic chive. Because we're hipsters. And then, because we're gangsters, that's going to be well hot. Well hot. Bit more of that. Another slice of the smoked cheese. And then that on top there, mate. That's the stuff of legend, isn't it? Huh? You having that? Give it a rotation for you. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Well happy with it. Look at that. Oh. Let's go in on it. Let's have that nibble of the corner of the actual thing. Mm. Look at the texture of it. It's like a... Oh, man. Look. Look at that. That is delicious. Mm. 
This is my tea as well. Are you having that or not? Yes or no, are you having that? Poetry slam. Slam dunk date, mate. Just break a bit off for you. Look at that. Look. Look, it's even. even breaks like chicken. I've nailed it with breadcrumbs as well. That's nicer than um, than anything that you'd get from a takeaway. Mm. Vegetarian. It's not quite vegan because of uh, the egg and. The cheese and our spinning back fisted a uh, uh, a bull on way in. I don't think it was. It wasn't looking ever clever when I left it. Like uh, uh. oh man. So nice. Another reason why it's so nice is because of the effort and that has been put into getting it. Last bit, mate. If you just came walking out of them, out of these rhododendrons, with your top off, and demanded, or even just asked for this last bit. Hand on nut, it's yours, mate. You're having it. <sighs> oh. And it's filled me up. It's filled me up. The mozzies, the bush box. The bush box kept the mozzies at bay just for me to eat it as well. <laughs> oh, I feel like I maybe should have talked a bit more about the actual mushroom itself. <laughs> I didn't do that. There's, it hasn't got that many lookalikes. It's very, very distinctive. But please do, if you're going to be foraging for mushrooms, especially mushrooms, or anything, but especially mushrooms, double, triple check. Just make sure you're 100% sure. And as I say... Do a little taste test with it first, just to make sure that you're not allergic to it. That's if you can find it. Um, and, and only take what you need, take what you'll use. Um, I got carried away, I took two big bits, and I realised it was too much for me, so I took some to my friends, so they're going to have that for their tea tonight. But people don't mind when, uh, when I come and knock in with foraged goods. <laughs> that was delicious, absolutely stunning. One of the best um, meals I've had in Woods, and I've had a lot of good ones. I've had a lot of good ones. Um, but yeah, just forage with caution. Uh, if you're new to it especially, just, um, just build your knowledge in time and, and just be safe. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pack this stuff up. It's getting late, mate. and uh, I'm working tomorrow. Got a fence to build. Bob the Builder, back at it. Bobby, Bobby Hazeldino the first. I, right, let's get, <laughs> yeah, let's get this packed up, you dafty apy, and, uh, and get gone, eh? Come on. That's another one at Wing Column Foot Bush Box as well.
about 244 to oh. I've bummed and hard about getting titanium one because it's lighter, but can't be asked. I'm dedicated to that one. It's like when you, if your missus puts on a bit of weight and stuff, but you just got to still love her. <laughs> yeah. Right, get gloving. That was absolutely stunnington. Stunnington. Oh, it's an easy tidy up job as well. Look at that. Mm. So nice, mate. Leave only memories, good memories. Who am I talking to? Uh, going a little bit do lally. Right, come up here. What a lovely, lovely time. And I got there in end, I was thinking I might not ever find any. Um, as I say, the only times I've ever found it, I, uh, I've not actually been out looking for it. I've just stumbled across it and thought, oh, I'll have a bit of that. But when I went out specifically to try and find it, it became a bit of a chew, but brilliant. And well done, Teeny. Not that she watches, but Teeny with her little f forager vision eyes on. Well done. Well done. Right, I'm off now. Can I, I, I'm just going to ask you to do us a favour before I, before I do one. And it's this, and it's a way that you can support me without spending anything yourself. It's a win-win for everyone. And it's audible um, on Amazon. Is the, uh, it's the audiobooks. I'm a member, I, I signed up years ago. I've, I'm ploughing through them because I've got uh, bad attention I've got an attention disorder, so books I just can't get, I can't concentrate me noggin onto them, but audio books, they go in because I can do other stuff while I'm listening, while I'm driving or whatever. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're into audio books and you want a free trial on Audible, just click the link below, you get a month free, you get a free book of your choice, um, and you're not even committed to carry on after that month, you can just cancel it. And it helps me out. So if you could do that for me, I'd be uh, I'd be most grateful. And you get to listen to an audiobook as well. And if you're from the UK or America, and you're into comedy, let me just uh, give you this top tip: the Alan Partridge audiobooks. If you're into Alan Partridge, mate, because they're read by Steve Coogan as Alan Partridge, they're hilarious. So you can get a free trial, download that, listen to it, it's, it'll, uh, <laughs> it's so funny, mate. Get that down here. Oh, what did I just recently listen to? Fox's autobiography, Jason Fox from the SBS, his autobiography, read by him. You can get that for free with your month trial. Just click on the link below, download it, and then choose any book you want, listen to it, and then if at the end of the month you don't want it, just get rid of it, mate. It doesn't... Don't cost you anything, but it helps me out, and I really do appreciate it. I liked it when I did that double double handed salute to Namaste. So that's we're gonna we're gonna roll with that one for a little bit. <laughs> right, love you. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Going in here, going in here, even though there's no path. <laughs> coming back out, coming back out, because I've started this thing and I can't get out of it. Did it, did it, love you. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise onto the top. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month.